We partnered with Boyd Kennard and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to work on this innovative, unique project of providing fish passageway with the fish ladder. And so uh, the, it's an experiential learning opportunity for our students, wonderful for the river and for educating people about stream ecology in the Eel Basin. Dams just cause a real dysfunctional fish populations. And, uh, and so what fish ladders do, it takes water from above the reservoir, it flows down through the fish ladder, and we have a series of steel baffles in there that slow down the velocity of the water and make the velocity slow enough so that these not such good swimming fish can, can actually go upstream. Fish swim up to the dam, and if you were to walk out there right now, you'll see small fish trying to jump up the dam. Most people in the Midwest have no clue that our fish want to do that. They only think of things like salmon, and then they're going to swim laterally, and they're going to bump into this fish ladder where they're going to sense that movement, and they're going to try to go up. It's unique in, in every respect. There's no ladder like this. Okay, so this is the first one in the world. The ladder itself fits together like a Lego set. The site preparation that's gone in for the last, that was done last week, and that was to create an 8% grade. So we have 2,000 of these little pit tags, or most people would know them as microchips that you would put into pets. We're gonna put those into 2,000 fish, and we'll have an antenna that goes completely across the bottom of the river. And every time a fish swims over that antenna, it's going to record it on a computer. And so the students now are getting exposed to some of the most recent technology. My primary goal in, in research in the Eel River is to provide experiential learning and research opportunities for students. Science does not work in a lecture in a classroom. Science works as collaborative efforts uh, with professional people. And that's what, that's what excites students about learning. That's what leads to graduate positions and jobs in the field, which is what we're in the business to do, is to prepare students for the professional marketplace. Now it just happens that the Eel River Basin is in our backyard. <laughs> it's a beautiful laboratory. And so if we can prepare students for the professional world and make people in our community more aware of the needs here, then all the better.